In this video, we're going to look at the heat maps functionality within Microsoft Clarity. So after we're logged into Clarity, we can see that there's a heat maps option from the top menu right here. But what we can also see is if we scroll down into some of these widgets, we can see a little flame icon. And if we hover our mouse, it says go to heat maps for this, whatever it is that we're looking at. So these pages, these referrers and so on. So we can see these and those will then jump to the heat maps page, but it will pass through whatever we've clicked on as a parameter. So for example, if I click on United States and I go to heat maps for that country, what that's going to do is it will pass through um, the that variable or that filter. So we're now filtering and saying we're looking at it for United States. Now, this is going to then show you the page that um, is, I guess, performing the most or has has um, a lot of data on it. Um, if I wanted to see a specific page, if I go back to the dashboard and then I looked at the popular pages here, then I could click on one of these and it would go to the heat map for that page. And we can see there that it's passed that through as the variable. So that's what it's filtering on. So let's go back to the dashboard and we'll go back to the United States. Now, if I then look over on the left hand side, what we've got is the different divs or sections on your website that have the most clicks. So a div is basically a way in which to um, sort of break up the site by um, putting in different sections of your site, uh, sorry, different sections of content. So for example, if I hover my mouse over this one, this says div.entry hyphen content. This will show me um, a snippet of the, the code or I can see exactly what this is looking at. So if I click on it, it will then, oh, hang on, let's click on this one. There we go. It will then show me how many, that div, that block of media text will show me that there were five clicks on that specific area and that was 29.41% um, of the overall clicks. Now, if we look down over here at the bottom right, we can see that there's a little indicator. Um, so we've got from essentially from blue, which is cold, which means less interactions on the page, all the way to red, which is hot. And that's the most interactions and the most clicks on the page. So that, that will indicate the, the number of interactions in a specific area. And if I click on those, it will then take me to that specific div or section on the page to where we can see well, how many um, clicks or how many interactions actually occurred. So if I just scroll down, we can also see that we have um, the dots as well, the colored dots. So I can see here, we've got a bit of red there. That was six clicks that actually occurred within this specific section on the website. Now, there are a couple of different types of heat maps. Um, you can see scroll here and click. Now scroll, if I just hover over this, Scroll is coming soon. So this I think will be very interesting. This will show you heat maps based on how far users have scrolled down the page. So we'll look for that in coming soon, whenever that might be. And then I'll um, do a blog and a video about that also. What we're looking at is the click heat map. Now, I'm not sure if there are any visits um, from tablet. So let's go ahead and click on tablet or mobile. Uh, nothing for this one. So let's actually um, clear all of this and let's add in a filter. Uh, let's look at uh, these two. See, there we go. Perfect. So now because I'm looking at visits from a mobile device, instead of click, it is based on taps. So how many taps did somebody actually make on their device when they were scrolling through on their tablet or on their mobile? Um, where were they actually tapping? So it's essentially the same thing as the clicks, but it's called it taps. And again, that's going to be showing for tablet or mobile versus clicks, which is on the PC. So I think the a couple of things to note on this is the data for these heat maps is kept for 12 months. So you'd be able to go back and look at heat maps from um, up to 12 months in the past. And it's limited to 100,000 page views per heat map. So that would be a wonderful problem to have is if I had more than 100,000 page views um, 
within any given session. Um, but yeah, so the heat maps, like I said, it's it's something that you can jump to from the top here or we can filter it here. Um, we're also going to look more into the filters in another video and another blog post, but we could also filter and look at heat maps that way as well. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I think it's interesting to see where people are clicking on your site to um, find out what's uh, most engaging for people, what's of most interest. So it's definitely something that I will be looking at more. Um, and I'll also be interested to see when the scroll heat maps come in as well, how they work too. So let me know what you think. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.